Bro, you look like you're walking real well. For endurance athletes, the lockdown has arguably been the toughest to stay fit, but Kiwi triathlete Kieran McPherson has conquered it in quite sensational fashion, completing his very first Ironman in his backyard. This debut Ironman race is considerably different to most. McPherson going to extreme lengths to keep fit during lockdown on his Matamata farm, first digging a pool with his excavator, taking two days to fill it from the garden hose. Well, it started off as like a little bit of a joke. I said, oh, well, maybe we should try it along the length of New Zealand. Kieran McPherson is at it again, this time swimming, biking and running every day to cover the length of the country, all for a cause that's changed his life jumped on the computer and Google Maps the distance, a bit of a route, said, oh, maybe this is possible. And there was hundreds and hundreds of man hours just into the planning of logistics and route planning, being in the middle of winter with weather. And physically, this is something that I had never done before in my life. Adrenaline was pumping. I spent three days in a camper van heading to Bluff. Been training for this for months and months on end, so it was finally about to happen. Everything was in place, and yeah, we were ready to go. The first three days, it's uh, what I had trained for throughout training leading into this length of New Zealand triathlon. We had trained back to back hard days, harder than I'd ever experienced on this trip, but it was the following days to come that I hadn't trained for. Oh, pretty tired, eh? Looking forward to a hot spring tonight. myself for letting this happen. I was angry at my body for failing me. And this was an injury that obviously could derail the entire trip. Something that I had planned for, something that we were building towards, something that I was getting a following for, something for this charity that I could give back to, so. Thanks to everyone that's donated again. Um, thanks to Central Physio and Rangi. Rangi Aura sorting me out when they this morning. Um, Thank you to all my sponsors. Thank you to what else my sponsors. So you're halfway through the bike, day five. How are things how are things going? You just pulled you up one of them. Nice. Thank you to everyone who's donated so far. Uh, you can still donate at lengthbenz.com. Um, Each night obviously was hugely frustrating for me. All I wanted to do was go to bed. So there was obviously a translation that needed to happen at the start and the end of each day. On top of me having already exercised for eight to 10 hours a day. A few gelling moments, but then it kind of came together and before we knew it, we were at the top of the South Island. South Island complete. We'll run off the ferry at the other end to complete our triathlon for today, but for now, uh, yeah, South Island's done, it's pretty, pretty awesome, eh? Getting a little bit teary-eyed when we did that last climb. <laughs> Oh, 
what, what day are we now, boys? Day number nine. Day nine. Um, yeah, you go. I guess you go through like roller coaster of why are we doing this? <laughs> I'm gonna finish regardless of how long it takes to get there, but it'd be nice if we can do it within the allotted time frame that I'd said the the 14 days. So. Uh, we're in Aukuni. Kieran just got done um, with the first per first half of his ride, and uh, it ended up being a, almost fully gravel, which he wasn't expecting. Throughout the trip, the lows get lower and the highs get higher, and this was my low of all lows. I broke down crying all the way into Aukuni and got to my crew and yeah, didn't want to say a word. It's all happening again, you know, like we're in the North Island now and um, I can tell that that's, that's weighing on him a bit. Now it's, I guess it's only a few more hours till I see them, so it's pretty cool counting down rather than, um, yeah, days, so. Once we've made a solid plan here. We've got a good stopping point. Like, he's made a home. Yeah, yeah, but we haven't achieved what we set out to achieve, have we? So, no much point having a stopping point. Yeah, the pandemic has ruined, has stopped a lot of things that people have set out to achieve. Yeah, globally, it's, it's stopped the whole world, really, hasn't it? So that means we've got to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm busy that day. <laughs> <laughs> well, Karen doesn't know this, does he? No, we don't need to tell us. No. Yeah, yeah. Up Miranda and follow the coastline up around to probably Kawakawa Bay. We're still ages out of Auckland. There's no advantage to going another day because you're still not completing what you said you have to do. Mm -hmm. You've done a huge amount of good for that charity, like the exposure you've gained for it. Yeah, it's just disappointing, eh? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right here with you. Sleeping in the morning. <laughs> Arriving in Cape Reinga was almost bittersweet. Like, obviously, we weren't going to fulfill it the way that I wanted to fulfill my goal, but in the end, I got to achieve something great for this charity <laughs> with my family with one of my best mates. Yeah, it was cool. We, we got the finish. Um, I got to drink a beer out of my shoe. Um, and I guess everyone was, everyone was happy. Yeah. yeah, we did it! <laughs>